Okay, hello dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's a little bit gray colored, but uh, it's a perfect time to relax, to wind down. And uh, I came to this coffee shop. It's in a train station in uh, California, uh, Palo Alto University Street. And later on, I searched online. This place is quite uh, historic. It used to be one of the busiest uh, train station, at least after San Francisco. This is one of the most busiest, busiest street uh, station in uh, light rail. Is this light? No, it's in cow train system from San Jose, Morgan Hill, until uh, San Francisco. So it's a delicate coffee shop and very enjoyable. And uh, so you see the decoration. It's um, not too complicated and uh, a little bit uh, rustic, ru rustic, rustic. And the train passing by with big loud, loud noise. But uh, it's such a lively noise. You feel life. And uh, I have uh, this profound feeling with, uh, with train station, the profound connection. I ordered my coffee and looked around. And this coffee shop actually uh, part into two parts. This may not belong, what we are seeing may not belong to the coffee shop, the, the vending or the cashier area. But uh, it was the used to be a waiting room for the train station. And uh, I am standing in the separation looking to see the area, to see the coffee shop. And uh, ah, yes, that is my coffee. <laughs> it's a, a delicate coffee, an Italian coffee shop, Venetia, Venetian, Venetian. And uh, I look around, there was a big mural. Um, and in the center, there was uh, a piano. I heard, I searched online, and some people say you can play this piano. And uh, the mural was about uh, uh, the railway, making of the railway. And that gentleman uh, is Leland Stanford, the founder of Stanford University. I think this must be, yes, this is Stanford. And this must be a, a history painting of, uh, of uh, the real way making. And behind, on the background, is actually the Stanford University, the church. You see that church is Unif University Church. It's very interesting. And I searched online about this artist also. There is uh, so much history. Even this place is not as ancient as Roman history, as European history, as uh, Chinese history, as Middle East history, as um, as uh, Ma Machu Picchu, the the um, South American history. But uh, each place has its own history and uh, story. I am very interested by this story. And another thing very interesting is that uh, when I did the payment there, they do not accept, this shop do not accept uh, cash. And, uh, well, I know this must be the trend and future on. People will always pay a credit card. But I still feel it's, um, it's, uh, it's just not so um, 
so comfortable. If you only have cash, if there is one day you came here only have cash and do not have a credit card, they can refuse the service to you. And uh, this also bring me to think a little bit deeper about this. On my plane from New York to to San Francisco, I was watching uh, a documentary about Facebook, about uh, Google, uh, mostly Facebook, and about they are taking the private information, shopping habit, and all this uh, this information, data mining, and uh, information collecting. And then I start to think. Why do they do this? And uh, at the very first shot, first thought, I was thinking, well, this will be a void if any internal uh, cashier employee forgot to charge money or, or they can make the business a straight line. Nobody touch any money becomes much interesting. And uh, also, I read a newspaper about uh, newspaper article about people against this cash-free, cashless uh, uh, business practice, only using credit cards, and they are saying it's kind of a gentrification because uh, there are people do not use credit card. And using credit card is very much to the to the people a bit uh, better well where uh, well off in life. So I chat with the people in the coffee shop. Also, there was one gentleman said, maybe. This is uh, good for the big corporate to collect information about uh, your shopping habit, about um, about the way you consume money, and then the corporate can can influence. And then we di discussed much deeper about how much this kind of corporate, the big corporate, manipulating our life. Through charging money, through observing our way of life, and uh, how much, as uh, a normal person, as uh, an unimportant person like you and I, how we can do to to stand our stand, to stand up our stance and to voice our opinion or at least keep our opinion. Of course, if I go to shop, I still use credit card and I will still use a melange, a mixture of credit card or, 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 or cash. But just that thought that we do not have a choice, that we are observed by the big corporation. And this big corporation have the power that, uh, that is uh, beyond what they should have. And that feel makes me not happy. Anyway, there is nothing to take away the joy of going to a good coffee shop to enjoy. We will still continue our life. There are things we like, there are things we do not like, and uh, there are things we can control, there are things we cannot control. Just live our life and live our life with a clear view of our principle of uh, what we should stand, what we can be a little bit blurry. It is our choice. Your decision is your choice. My decision is my choice. There is no right or wrong. 
and uh, just uh, just would like to bring up this uh, this dialogue through this uh, cute nice coffee shop i have i have nothing against this coffee shop and maybe they are maybe they do not even like to do that practice maybe this is a corporate big corporation big data mining company uh, had uh, a deal with them if you if you do cash free we will give you a certain deal or something we do not know anything behind the scene and uh, do not dislike something that we do not know I like this coffee shop still and will always. I love you, I really do. Do 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 do. Bye bye friend.